Hello everyone and welcome to this complete walkthrough of SwiftUp. So SwiftUp is a project management system built with Django and admin LTE template. So Django is a very powerful web framework built with Python. And on the other hand, admin LTE is a free bootstrap template. So this combination is going to ensure that our platform is secured, responsive and user friendly. So in this complete walkthrough, I'm going to be guiding you through every single feature. So you're going to start from how to log into the system, create teams, create projects, manage tasks, and then track the progress of tasks on our Kanban board. So whether you're managing a large team or working with smaller projects, SwiftTab is designed to simplify and enhance your collaboration. And the best part is you're going to be building SwiftTab together from scratch. So you're going to learn each step as we progress. And by the end, you're going to have your own project management system up and running. All right, guys. So I'm going to hop over to the login page. So on the login page, you're going to have the ability to enter your credentials. That's the username and then the password. That's when, that is when you actually have the credentials. But in case you do not have your credentials or you already not a member, what you're going to do is to click on register new membership. So I'm going to click on that. And here you will have the ability to enter your username, email, password, and then you're going to have to confirm your password. So once you have actually registered, it's going to redirect you to the page, the login page again. I already have an account and I'm going to log in with that particular credentials. Okay, so here I'm going to enter my credentials. So join tech and I'm gonna supply my password like that and I'm just gonna click on login. All right, so we wait for it to login. All right, so upon successful login, you're gonna land on our dashboard. So the dashboard actually is the central hub for all our activities on SwiftUp. So here you're gonna have an overview of the project, the total number of projects you are directly involved in. You are working on the total number of tasks your team is actually assigned to from this serving project the teams that you are working with or you are involved in and then the total number of users or people or team members from this particular team so i'm gonna scroll down a bit here and you're gonna see that we have latest projects so the system actually gives you the five most latest projects you are working on so here you're going to see that we have e-commerce website development. That's a project we are working on. And that is actually assigned to the Python team. And, and the due date is in one day and the status is completed. The priority is high. So the system have about three categories of priority. So we have high, medium, and then low. And they are all color coded. So high priority is going to have the danger or the red color and the medium is going to have the warning or this color and then the low is going to have the green or the success color all right so here right hand side you're going to also see the goal completion so for all these five projects what how close are we to completing the goal so it's going to have 100 percent as the maximum and when you look at it we have um, e-commerce website development that is actually completed. We have healthcare upgrade is 50% down to the last one. So I'm going to click on view all project. So here on view all project, you're going to see all the projects you are working on. I mean, so you're going to have the project name, the individual, you're going to see the pictures, the profile pictures of the team members, the project progress priority and edit. So if you take a look at it, this actually has edit and delete. But when you come to project number two, it only has nothing there. That is because I am not the person who actually created, I'm not the owner of the project. So it's only the project owner who is gonna have the ability to edit or delete this project. I could only contribute to it. So here I can actually click on this and then go to the project detail page and I could make comments, upload files and all that. So I'm gonna go back again and then click on view our project. 
and here i'm just gonna click on edit so on the edit page i'm just gonna scroll down and i could make changes to it so here you could see that the status is completed we have to do in progress and complete i'm gonna click on in progress and click on save changes so it tells me project a beta successfully i could go back to the project page and now you're gonna see that it's 50 percent but first it was actually 100 percent okay so i'm gonna scroll down okay let me also demonstrate how the delete actually works so here you could click on delete and it's gonna ask you to confirm the deletion so if you click on delete it's gonna delete it for real if you click on cancel it's gonna bring you back to your project list so i'm not gonna delete that project now okay back to the main page when you scroll down you're also gonna see project near due date. All right, so some projects are actually close to the due date and the system actually flags all project that is two days to the due date. It's actually gonna bring them here and it's gonna send a notification to all team members that the project actually requires special attention. So I'm gonna click on my profile picture here and you're gonna see that I have the admin dashboard right here that's because i'm admin member so i'm gonna right click and then open it in a new tab so now that i have opened it in a new tab and i'm gonna scroll down to periodic task and click on periodic task so on the periodic task you're gonna see that project due date notifier is a function or a task that i'm running so i'm gonna click on that scroll down to the cron schedule and you're gonna realize that we have a time here and when i click on edit you're gonna see that it actually runs at 5 40 a.m from monday sunday to saturday africa Accra. so i'm in ghana that's why you're seeing this that the time zone but you could select any time zone that you like so this system actually notifies the team members so i'm just gonna click here and go to see all notification and you're going to see that these are some of the messages in the notification that came a week ago so there was a project school management system that was due and here you're going to see that we have the total number of notifications here so you could actually click on mark as red and it's actually going to filter this one out so now we have 50 now you can click and then remove all these ones from it so back to the dashboard again when i scroll down you're also going to see all the latest team all the latest members so these are the individuals in your team so you're going to see the list of them and you could click on view members all right so view members actually brings us to the view where a, a list of your members where you can view them so you're going to see that this person is a graphic designer that is Haida Tachi Adam. And you're going to have the about of this person, where the person is located, the phone number. And you could also click on view profile and it's going to send you to the profile page where you could see a complete detail of this person. The total number of projects he or she is working on, the total number of tags that has been assigned to him. So when I scroll down, you're going to see about me the education the location the skills and then the biography you can read all about that you're also going to see two different tabs here and the first one is going to be the total project or the list of projects this person is directly working on or the team is actually working on so i can scroll down and you can even there is a paginator where you can click and then view the next page or you could also click here and then view the particular project you could also come here and you're going to see all the total tasks this person is actually working on and all the team members and there's also a comment section where you see all the comment that has been made by this person or the group members on this particular project they are working on. all right so let me go back to the main page the dashboard and let me click on one of the projects so it brings me to the project detail page and here I can make a comment so I could probably say that thanks for adding me and you could you actually have to give a descriptive something very descriptive and I'm gonna post this comments right here and it says thanks for adding me that was zero minutes ago and you see comments was posted successfully 
you could also come here and you're gonna add in files so i could come here suppose i have a list of maybe files that i want to add probably like a picture or a report or something like that i could do this and click upload and it now tells me that this has been added successfully so i could even click on that i could i could click on that and view the picture right there all right so okay so but the most important thing that i want to concentrate on right now is here we have the budget information the estimated budget that's something that i'll talk about very soon but let's click on view kanban board so when i click on view kanban board it actually shows the Kanban board of this particular project. So let me toggle this side like this and then zoom out a bit so that you could see the complete Kanban board. So the Kanban board have four columns. The first is the backlog, the list of tasks that are yet to be worked on. We also have the to-do in progress and then completed. So here I can have create a task and it's so easy to do that. So let's say this is a new task like that click on enter and now the task is now created so now i could assign this task to one of the team members probably let's say um ryan click on assign and now you see the picture of that person being set here i could also click and assign to a different user like fadila and click and you see the picture is also changed now it's time to edit the profile and add um edit the task and add some few information so i'm gonna add a description like this so this is a new task reads it's uh gently all right, so guys, you have to give something that is so the description has to be related to the task that you are created. You are creating and you're gonna select a priority. So I'm gonna leave it on default, that is medium. And also I'm gonna select the start date. The start date is gonna be today, 17th of December, 2024. And then the due date is gonna be, let's say two days from now. And I'm gonna click on save. Now this actually, get set right here all right so from here you can now move this tax from one column to another so i can just drag and drop it here and it's gonna stay there so i could actually even refresh the page and it's still gonna stay there now it is just right here so let's say we've started this project working on this task so i'm gonna drag it to in progress then i could also drag it to completed when the task is completed so you can just drag and drop drag and drop just like that so i'm gonna go back like this so the kanban board is actually gonna help you track who is working on which task whether they have been able to successfully complete their tasks and all that so i'm gonna click go back to the dashboard again so here we once you log in into the system, the first thing probably we could have done is to create new teams, but because I already have teams and I've already set up my account, that is why I went and then demonstrated how to use it like this. But I could come to teams and then click on all teams. So when I click on all teams, I'm gonna see all the teams that are on the system, the teams that are actually on Swift Hub. So if I created a team, I'm just gonna see it. And if I'm also assigned to a team, I'm just gonna see it. But an admin member is going to see all the teams, whether they are even assigned to it or not. And you can just click on next to go to the next page. And now we are just at the last page. So I can go to previous or go to the last page like this. So I will still click on this section here and click on create. So now that I have create, clicked on create, I'm just going to, I could supply the team name. That is when I'm creating a new team. So you supply the name of the team, make it something very descriptive, the team description, then you're gonna select a team lead from the list of users on the system, and then you're gonna select the team members and then click on create, and that is gonna create the team for you. So 
I also want to demonstrate to you how the projects work. So I have the list of all projects right here. So I click on all projects and I'll just see all the projects that I'm currently working on or the projects that I have created. And I could also click on next under paginator and I'm going to see, it's just going to, let me see all those ones and I can click and go to the project detail page like this. I could also come here and click on add projects. So when I click on add project, it's gonna open this page where I can add the name of the project, the description of the project, select the team and also the company. Then the status is gonna be either to do in progress or completed, then the priority. So after I have filled all these details, I could also add a budget details like this and click on create and it's gonna create the project and redirect me back to the budget list page. So after everything, I could also come to the profile section here. And then if I am an admin, I'll have this button where it will direct me to the admin page. But if I'm not an admin, a normal user, I'm not gonna see this. So I could see edit profile, click on edit profile here, and I'll have the ability to browse for a new profile picture change my job title, educational level, and all this information, and I can click on save changes, and it's gonna save the changes for me right here. All right, so I could also come here and then change my password. So here you will have the ability to enter the old password, then the new password, and you're gonna confirm the password like that. All right, guys, so I could also log out like this. And guys, this is a complete introduction of swift hub how to use swift hub and this is a system we are going to be building together so we're going to start from scratch with no knowledge about it and then you're going to build it to a level where you can have your own project management system running all right i'm so excited to build this one with you so if you are so excited like myself don't forget to like share comment and then subscribe and i'm going to see you in the next video where we create our project. Bye-bye.